Now to the CBS2 investigators. Did Navistar knowingly sell faulty engines for school buses and trucks? Small business owners are saying yes, and they're telling CBS2 investigator Dave Savini about the potential danger and the crushing cost. I just got rid of them, some of them I gave away, some I donated. Mike Wagner runs a school bus company that's supposed to transport thousands of children a day to schools all across the Chicago suburbs. He kept the same story over and over again. His buses kept breaking down, even while filled with children in the dead of winter. Just go back to some of the cold winters, yeah, because they, they, they would scare the heebie-jeebies out of me because your cold bus can't run it, got no heat, got little people on the bus. He blames the type of engine and says it was manufactured with a faulty emission system, a design flaw that recirculates exhaust gases back into the engine, causing it to fail. It just could not stay on the road without breaking down. And how many times were these buses breaking down? Too many to even count. The engine is called the Max 47 and was built by the Navistar Corporation, headquartered in West Suburban Lyle. How long has it been just sitting in this lot? This vehicle's been here for two years. As you can see the weeds growing around it. Kyle Ballauer, who works for an air freight company in Bensonville that guarantees fast deliveries, says the Max 47 engine in his truck broke down so many times, it's actually cheaper to keep it parked. Anywhere the vehicle would end up, it would it, the truck would die down. The company he works for and Wagner's company are suing Navistar, accusing the business of knowingly selling defective engines and costing them lost business and huge repair bills. The Fortune 500 company faces similar allegations involving another Max Force engine, the Max Force 13. An estimated 60,000 were sold during the last decade. Motor is pretty much junk. YouTube videos show truckers nationwide complaining Navistar That's failed to properly here. test and then knowingly sold defective engines. Max Force engines suck. My truck was in the shop every week for 13 weeks straight. Navistar knew that the engines had serious flaws, but sold them anyway. There was an inherent flaw in their design, and it would just get worse and worse and worse. Kip McDowell runs Williams National Lease. He says his company lost millions of dollars because of Navistar engine breakdowns. Fraud? Sure. The engine making giant recently lost a $30 million Tennessee lawsuit alleging fraud over its Max Force 13 engines. A former Navistar executive testified certain engineers were not tested, saying we didn't test shit. He also testified there were trucks down all over the place. They wouldn't start. They had white smoke. You name it. First word that comes to your mind when you hear this word, Navistar. Disappointment. Max Force 13. Garbage. Nearly 100 plaintiffs are suing Navistar in Illinois, including McDowell's family. What did it do to this company? We were fearful that we'd go out of business. His company, started by his wife's grandfather, Ozzie Williams, 50 years ago, had to get rid of 20 trucks with the Max Force engine and says they will no longer buy anything built by Navistar. How much did this cost you in reputation at that time? And that's the unknown. How do you put a price on reputation? He says in addition to lost business, dozens of truck drivers quit because they got tired of all the breakdowns. He even posted a video on his company's website to show he was removing the last of his Max Force engine trucks from his Michigan City, Indiana lot. So Navistar, you believe, put defective engines out on the market? Yes. And a lot of companies got hurt? Absolutely. Bruce Rose is Mike oh. Wagner's attorney. And they claim they were testing. Apparently the Navistar personnel can't even agree on uh, how much they were testing and what the value of the testing was. How much money would you say you lost? Uh, as best we can tell after adding everything up, approximately six to seven million dollars. It's hard for me to talk about because it's so painful because you buy something from someone thinking you're going to get one thing and it turns out you get a lemon and then you're told there's nothing they can do about it. He says in all he had to get rid of 40 buses. Navistar stopped making Max Force engines after complaints piled up. Company officials would not comment on any pending lawsuits. Navistar is appealing the $30 million Tennessee verdict and in the past has said they did test the engines. Pub published reports estimate if Navistar loses similar cases, the company could end up paying out billions. That's billions with a B. This litigation could take years yeah. in court. Even for a Fortune 500 company, that's quite a hit. But also, as you were mentioning, so many of them don't want to buy from them again because of this. And that's a huge image problem they have to deal with. And, and, and they say they're looking toward the future and trying to move forward. But they got to get past this. Yeah, this big PR hit for them. And I mean, they're worth 
eight and a half billion dollars, but this could really mire them, couldn't it? And they're big here in the Chicago community. They're headquartered here in Chicago, so it affects the business too. Right. A lot of people hurt by this. Yes, all right. Thank you, Dave.